Elder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'd like to show you a very simple card, uh, just a very basic card that I got from a sketch. Um, I used a sketch because this was the sketch we used for our um, team meeting, and um, we just had to put together a card using the same layout. So this is the card I put together, but I'm going to show you how we can use our printed paper packs to um, make other cards using the same paper. So the paper that I used for this one is called Vintage Paris. I'm very sad because it is retiring, so hurry up and get it now before it's gone. It is absolutely gorgeous. In our paper packs, you get 24 double-sided sheets. They are so reasonably priced, and the paper is absolutely exquisite. It is um, very heavy cardstock weight paper, and um, it is printed, like I said, on both sides. So this is the piece that I'm actually going to use today, but like I said, the papers are absolutely gorgeous. I like showing them because um, they just have such versatility. Now, you can use just pieces of these, which I'm going to show you how to do today, or you can use the entire thing. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then another thing you can do is you can use one side for one part like I did today, and then I used the other side for the coordinating piece. So here's the other um, pieces right here, several different designs in one paper pack. Isn't that gorgeous? Very vintagey, um, very lacy, very feminine. Love, absolutely love it. So that's the Vintage Paris paper pack, and these are two of the cards. I'm going to bring in one more. Um, it's exactly like this one right here, except I use different sides of the paper. Okay, so these are different sides of the paper. Love, love, love it. I also wanted to show you that you can just take pieces of it. This card was so super fast. Um, I used just scraps that I had left over for a bow, added a few little um, um, pearls on there, and then, voila, you have a very fast card. I did some layers on the inside, and like I said, very fast and very affordable. So let me just show you what I did. I started cutting up some of this paper, and um, using it um, for pieces. So for this piece right here, I used that. This was on another card, so I didn't waste it. It was this card right here. So I used the rest of this piece right up here. Now I also used the top piece right here for my sayings right here. So like I said, you can get more out of just these pieces of paper by just um, cutting them up. It's kind of like a one-sheet wonder, and you just cut these beautiful pieces apart um, to get uh, your cards. So um, I'm going to show you how to put this one together. The measurements for these blocks are on my blog, so hop on over to that one and um, you'll get to see how to do it. All right, so let's take our paper pieces that I put um, are already pre-cut, and like I said, the, um, the measurements for these will be on my blog. So let's just attach these together using some of our Easy Glide. Now, remember me, I'm, I'm always saving paper. So this piece right here, I used um, out of the piece that I'm actually layering right here. All right, so attach this. And these pieces, these layering pieces, what I did was I framed them, but I just did it with an eighth of an inch difference right here all the way around. I didn't want a big border, so I just made a very tiny border. I'm going to use this side right here. So let's put our Easy Glide on the back of this one and center it. See how easy this goes together? So if you need to do um, quite a few cards, just cut up your blocks of paper, um, punch things out, and you're good to go. The next thing that I did was I cut out my circle with my ovals, and remember that, uh, or I'm sorry, with our circles, with our circles die, and remember that our circles die also have the um, the perforations in, included right in the stamp or in the the die set. So that is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this piece right here. I pre-cut these with that. Now the other piece, <clears throat> excuse me, that I did was. Um, another one from our journey circles right here since I had them out I just started cutting and then I just stamped them so I used my journey ovals for the saying on this one <clears throat> right there I used the sentimental prints which I love 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 that one and then one of my very favorite stamp sets is called love Paris and um, this is the piece that I used from the love Paris it does come in a bundle or you can buy them individually so those are the stamps and the dies that I used for this card very easy very basic things um, and now I'm going to just start putting it all together 
So let's take our card base. This is um, a whipped cream white card base. And I'm going to start using some because I love my layers. I'm going to take some of my um, foam squares and just put them on here. Because these are the medium size, pretty big, I'm just going to take and put one, two, and three right down the middle on this one. Take off the little tabs and center. All right? Look at how pretty that is. Just look how pretty, pretty, pretty that is. Gorgeous card. All right, the next piece I'm going to use is this one right here. Now, look, I, I could have used, um, like I said, different pieces to it, um, but I just, I have this one out. We're going to do it. Now, what you want to be careful of on this is um, because this has already popped up, we don't want that to be um, lopsided. So on this side, I'm going to put my Easy Glide. All right, that's just a good tip. And then on this side, I'll just take and put two little foam squares. All right. So now, why I'm doing that is so that when you lay it down, it's totally even. If I had put foam squares on this side, this side would have been um, higher than the other side. Does that make sense? Now, what I want to do is I want to offset this just a little bit so it overlaps on this side. All right, see how flat that lays and how even that is. So now the whole card is just nice and even. I'm going to do the same thing on this piece right here. So on one side of this, I'm going to put my Easy Glide. And on the other side, I'm going to take one of my square foam dots and put it on there. Now, the square foam dot has to go up here, so I'm just going to feel, make sure it's up on the top. It's not touching this one and this one. It's only on the white card. Now, do you see how nice and flat this whole card is? Good tip. I'm going to take and pop this up. Yes, this is totally dimensional, this card. I love the way this looks. All right, so we're just going to take and add that. Like I said, I pre-stamped that. Don't ask me why. I just did. Okay, now the only thing that we have left, you see how fast this card goes together? You can use up the scraps that you have in your designer paper. Absolutely love that. You know me, not wasting paper. All right, so here's my thinking of you that I did on just the scraps that I had left over from this designer paper. Remember, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the top parts um, have... Um, less of a, of a design than the bottom part. So you can use them for things like this. I love that. Okay, now I'm just going to take my, um, my scissors here and I'm going to make a banner out of this. So I'm just going to cut up the middle because that's going to show you where the middle of it is and then cut from here to the middle and then from here to the middle and you've got your little banner. Okay, um, now I need to just cut off a little bit, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just take my crease tool and see how much I need to cut off. I'm going to cut off right about here, but I want to leave some of that really pretty design on here, okay? All right, now I need to grab my um, journey dots here and just start using the, um, just start using my little journey, journey dots to add to this right here. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to put the journey dot where the, the um, crease goes out, so underneath it, all right? And on this side, I'll put it right over here. Same thing. It's the part that bows out on the back, all right? Does that make sense? Okay, so let me just grab another journey dot over here, and let's just put it on here, right here like this, all right? So add that to my card right here. And then the very last thing that I need to do, super, 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 super simple card, okay, is to add my pearls. Okay, here's my pearls. I lost them there for a moment, okay. And we'll just grab. I love taking and adding my pearls with um, just my, my uh, let's start with the big one here. We're going to, I just like adding them with my bloom tool, all right. So I just pick them up and pop them right down. All right, so here is the second. We have three sizes of pearls on our packs and just so inexpensive um, to purchase. So I don't, I don't mind using a lot of them. So there's my, my three little um, pearls to add to it. And if you remember, just to spruce up this one right here, I added three little pearls right here. Remember, the only thing that I have on this is one piece of designer series paper, some scrap ribbon that I had, and um, three pearls. That's all there was to this one. So that's my post for today. You can see how different the cards look. And then in the same paper pack, um, remember here is this one with this designer paper right there. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you liked my post today. Super simple but absolutely elegant. You take care. Have a great day and come back soon.